Okay, guys, Cam here from thefishroom.co.nz, and today we're doing a recap of the angelfish. The Fish Room, helping you keep beautiful aquariums. So, here it is my seven foot display aquarium full of the angelfish that I um, did the little summer experiment with. Uh, you can still see the ones that were in the six foot tank compared to the ones that were in the other ones um, but they're getting close to catching up now they're not quite there but I can see on the bottom right hand side there those couple there are a little bit smaller and then sort of in the in the middle top left kind of area are some of the other bigger ones but uh, that's them there predominantly they've gotten a good size now considering they were sort of 50 cent piece size they've gotten a good size now so there's a pair down there, they haven't spawned yet, but they just don't leave each other alone. And they are on that, cleaning up that big vertical piece of wood all the time. Like it's insane how often they're in there cleaning. And they basically round up all the rest of them into this side of the aquarium, which is pretty standard for cichlids when they're spawning. And we've got a um, T-bar square in the middle there. And if you're really looking hard, you'll see a whip tail. And what I think could be a 129 pleco, or maybe a 066 pleco, right in the middle there, just above the um, Anubius. So the natural aquarium is coming on quite nicely, or you can even see an electric blue acara popping its way through the head. Sorry, sorry, popping its way through the hole there as well. So this natural style aquarium is coming on really nicely. Glories back there. You can see there's plecos everywhere, they're just sort of in and out of all the crevices, they're producing lots of dust, the EMI I'm going around which I'm happy with. It's just a natural environment that I'm trying to recreate, which I think I'm doing fairly well at at the moment. I've been playing around with coconut fibre down here, which is producing a nice wee layer of substrate, so it's coconut fibre and then there's obviously all the dust that's building up from the wood that's being chewed back. I've been putting the rooibos tea leaves in here as well as the oak leaves that were in here. So that's breaking down into a really nice soft mom, which is going well. There's even little bits of Anubias that are popping its way back up and through. Considering um, putting in a couple of small dwarf sages into here, or maybe a couple of small um, Amazon salt plants and seeing if they'll just sort of naturally grow with no help or anything in this pile just to really kind of get that natural feeling going on. So the top up there is where the angels have been get out of it. They've been cleaning. You can see it's a lot cleaner up top than what the rest of the timber is. The timber, the driftwood, the wood is in the aquarium because they are in there pretty much every day giving a clean up. Haven't seen eggs yet. Uh, it'll happen eventually I guess. To be fair, I don't really want them spawning. I can't really be bothered dealing with them, but that's all right. If they do, they do, and they don't, they don't. Yeah, having a wee pick off and a clean there. But yeah, that's prime real estate right there. And at this end, this is more prime real estate. I did see a couple other angels looking like they were peering off a bit, and they were at this end cleaning off. So it's a couple of good spots for spawning. If they do, they do. They don't, they don't. So as far as feeding the masses goes, is what they're probably getting. Most days they get a bit of flake. 
uh, every other day they get some granules uh, chuck a little bit of the algae stuff in every other day in between the algae and then the next day I give them some shrimp pellets so kind of covering all um, I kind of try a lot of foods and stuff as you probably noticed with the reviews so whatever I'm trialing or have open to try they, they get for the time being they'll get a frozen bloodworm from time to time as well uh, but this one here is what they've been predominantly fed on the entire time I still haven't finished that container and when I do finish it I've got another two kilos of the new life spectrum optimum freshwater flake to feed so they'll be getting that flake for a very long time a scrap going on keyholes defending some territory or is it the t-bar that's defending some territory or it might be the t-bars that are defending it there has been a couple of t-bar spawns in here i haven't done anything with them because they've always been in a really awkward place but i reckon those two will be defending from the keyhole this is honestly the first time i've seen any aggression from a keyhole circle they're normally just meh and just swim around and hide and then disappear that's crazy wonder if there's some eggs in there and they're really defending it aren't they good old cichlids very well possibly could be a um a patch of eggs down there Angelfish hang around being referees. Oh, got him. No, yep, no. Oh. Well, maybe there's not eggs because they're letting the angelfish hang around a bit. Maybe they just don't like them. It's on for young and old. They're all in there now. I've genuinely never seen this type of aggression from a keyhole. Oh, he's looking at his wounds. He's gone. Where is he? Lost him. He's gone. He lost the battle. guys are still defending hard maybe there is uh, some eggs in there anyway that was a bit of entertaining so there we have it an update of the angelfish they have definitely gone from this big to about that big, a little bit bigger. They've definitely grown a fair bit of size, which is kind of cool. Um, as you can see, there's a few pairs that are developing. The aquarium itself is developing to a really, really nice natural environment, which I'm really stoked about. Uh, the mold was developing nice and thick quite well. Got a bag of oak leaves in there that are going to start soaking once they start sinking. I'll drop them in as well. Very little um, algae growing in there. So I'm kind of okay with them, a little bit just to get a little colour contrast and everything but tells me that what's going on in there is doing what it needs to do is a little bit of green spot on there but that's because there's a bit of natural sunlight coming through but other than that that is my update of my angelfish aquarium and the little test that I did I might put them outside over summer and see if I can really get them to go Pew! again I'm just not certain yet but that's still a few months away so for now that is it we're done catch you next time